the Remington 8 amp electric pole saw was what we purchased here. This video shows you how it worked and the uh, success that I had using it. It's a good little tool, 80 bucks off of Amazon Prime. And uh, we'll let you take a look at it and see how it works here. I need to pull out flat and had to snap it together right here. There's a little notch right here. And you make sure the wire's not caught in there. I was having a hard time doing that, but then I, the wire was messed up in there. So I, once the wire was out of the way, it did it real easy. And then uh, laying it out flat and push the uh, trigger release right here and the trigger up underneath here. And then this little piece just slides right in you can see how it's just stuck in this like a like a block or like a kid or something so that slides right in you can use this for as either a saw uh, on a pole or you can use it without the pole so right now I'm hooking it up with the pole and I got a pretty big oak tree that seems to be growing pretty rapidly and been, we've cut on it several times and we've got uh, branches down again for the summertime here. All right, I'm gonna get this secured. I'm gonna stop it and get this secured. It does have a cardboard piece. It has a cardboard piece around the blade and they said not to discard that. I imagine we'll keep that as a, uh, when we keep it in storage and that way keep it from getting damaged and also keep it from hurting anybody. So. We'll follow the instructions here and not discard this piece. All right, I got the saw connected to the stick. And right now I'm gonna plug in the plug that is on the saw and the plug that is on the stick. And then I have an extension cord out the back. Why did I get one with extension cord? All right, well, I'm not gonna use this a whole lot and I don't wanna mess with any Lithium batteries. I had a bad experience with a lithium battery with a Ryobi, Ryobi, Ryobi uh, weed eater, and that uh, didn't work. So, extension cord, straight up electricity is going to be good enough for me, I think, for my small amount of stuff I need to use it for. Yeah, just start there. Underneath my uh, oak tree, we planted this tree when it was an acorn, uh, a little sprig out of an acorn when we got married. Now the thing's huge, that's been 20 years. This tree has really grown and uh, these branches hang down low, make it hard to walk underneath it and uh, cutting the grass and stuff. And you see the remnants of our pool project that we did. We got a little cleaning up to do over in this area. Here's our new pool, new pool over here. My wife walking across there. So uh, anyway, we got some branches to cut here. So far, the saw's working really well. What's up, Tyler? You ready? That one and the bottom one above it. All right. This one too, right here. Yeah. Am I gonna hit the fence? No, it should fall. here and there's something to work with. You need to chop these a little bit. dropping down pretty far right here you can see towards the pool so I'm gonna cut it about halfway here and then cut the rest the second time so this is pretty thick right here
took a little piece of it on the other one there. Let me get that right there. This thing is powerful. Works really well so far. Okay, here we are. Move. All right, we're gonna chop it up a little bit. So far, really good so far. All right, so the saw is working real good. We had a random oak tree that had been growing for probably seven or eight years right there that we decided we need to get rid of because we got a couple of satsumas over there that weren't able to get proper sunlight. And uh, we just cut that down and we're loaded up here on the extra trailer. You can see we've trimmed quite a bit up. So $80 saw here is well worth it with some help here with my wife and strong son. And we're going to have to try to haul some of this back to a burn pile back in the back, a uh, neighbor of mine. But right now the uh, saw works pretty good. No, no complaints. Alright, that's our second trailer full of stuff. There's the tree trimmed up high and also we had an oak tree going right there. We were able to cut it down with the, uh, the pole saw that we got and uh, made like a little V in the front and it was going to kind of push from the back. So it was probably 15 foot tall tree well on its way to being a big one like this one here so we didn't feel like we needed another one of those here in this yard because we just feel like we didn't have room got crepe myrtle there and some satsumas and little crepe myrtles there and that one just grew wild right there so cut it down but anyway Remington pole saw uh, with the uh, electric pole saw I would say yes you get it 80 bucks you got some serious uh, tree trimming to do around your yard uh, it does the job. I like it. All right, thanks.